Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I wanted to talk about tasks and planning in Obsidian. Now Obsidian is probably not the the best tool for laying out your your activity projects and tasks and things like that there, but if you're in Obsidian and you want to try to make it um, one of your kind of all-in-one workspaces where you're not switching from Obsidian to some other app back and forth uh, continuous, continuously throughout the day. Um, here are a few ways that maybe you could think about how you could maybe lay out your, your tasks within Obsidian. Now, the simplest and probably most straightforward way is to have maybe one note that's dedicated for your task items and then within that note you're you're putting your tasks in here so you'd have task one uh, task two and and so on maybe you have a project in here as well so as you go through your you outline your tasks this will be say that single file that you refer to all the time and you go through as you check them off at the end of the day you go ahead and you clear these out so that everything's clean and waiting for the the next day and you can also if you're just doing this in one file it's easier to kind of see what's going on with, with your tasks and if you have more of a project type activity then you can always have a link to a particular project page. That way this will take you to that project and then you'll have more information in that particular um, project documentation. So, but from here you can still see whether it's completed or not. Now, the next day you come in, if you don't have any tasks completed or you have some left over, it's easy to see that those tasks have not been completed versus if you're using maybe something like your daily note each day you have a different note where you have activities you can see here just created this one where I'm using a template to outline some of the routine activities that I do throughout the day to make it easier for me to have this input and then uh, below this maybe the specific tasks that are not in the routine list that I can do throughout the day. But if, if I'm doing it this way, you know, you do have the complication of if I don't finish any tasks throughout the day, then you have to have a process of taking those activities and moving them into the new daily file. Now you can also, if you're using, say, the, the task file, and you're using this as, again, the general um, file that you put all your tasks. You can also have this in here in your side pane, so that's always there and available uh, for you. Um, here you can even use the calendar third-party plugin, you know, to kind of give it more of a, you know, planning type look in your workspace. You can see the date, and if you need to click in on the daily note then you can click in on that daily note you can do anything that's outside of the task you may have in your task file now if you want to graduate from this particular type of way of putting your tasks either in a dedicated file that you use for all your tasks or uh, putting your tasks in the daily notes there is a plugin called the Daily Planner that you can enable. So if we go here and we enable this Daily Planner plugin, we can see here we go into the options that there are some options that you can do where you have it in file mode where it's going to create a file that's uh, dedicated for that day. Um, it begins with Day Planner and then it has the date behind it. So it's similar to the Daily Note type structure but these are within its own folder as well. There's also a command mode where you can put the, the daily planner 
uh, formatting basically in any note that you would like to. So there are some other options here further down. You can set it so that the, the past tasks that you have in this planner are automatically completed once the time has ar arisen or passed. You can have a Mermaid Gantt. You can show some information in the status bar here. And you can also enable notifications. You can, at the bottom here, they have also a, a timeline zoom level. And I'll, I'll kind of show this here once we go back into the plugin and our workspace. So I'm in the, the workspace now here. If we go ahead into the day planner area and we select a, a one of the day planners here, let's go to one of the previous ones where I can maybe take some text here and show an example. So I'll copy and paste this information here. So we see here after I put the task in this document, it went ahead, the plugin goes ahead and it, it gets the time um, that will be spent on each task and it puts it in, in this um, header here between these, these code uh, notation. So this file here is really dedicated to the day planner and it, it looks in this file here and it'll take the formatting. You can go to the plugin information to kind of see the different formatting it takes. But in here I have the, the two digit hour and it uses the 24 hour time format and then the minutes behind it and then the name of the tag. So the parser will go through or the plugin will just go through and take the times that you've put in here and then it starts to calculate how long it is between one task and another task. You can add breaks in between tasks. Um, I have noticed that you will need to put the tasks in order in order to see them in the right order. So if I was to put say this 2215 below 2230, um, this would uh, kind of mess the plugin, mess up the plugin, and it wouldn't view and calculate things appropriately. Now we have the view here, or the uh, the task that I put in this document here. If we click on the preview, we can see we have this this mermaid uh, chart here that we that it it produces based off the information you add into your task list. Also, if we go into the hotkeys here, let's enable, go into planner here, and we'll enable the hotkey so that we can show the, um, the day planner timeline. And if we come back to the note here, we get this timeline in the, in the, um, in the right hand pane here. We can see here where the day planner timeline plugin is here on the side for us and it it outlines the the act activities in order and when the time is is close and let's say if I was on right now I would need to add in a new tag. Let me edit this here. Put 1230. Now we can see here I just put a 1230 time and it has this red line here where it shows the current time that it is in reference to your task. So you can get a view of what time it is right now in and in a reference of where where the current time is versus the task that you have outlined in your document. In here as well, I've mentioned in the options, the day planner options, you can zoom in the levels here. These levels pertain to that actual panel, that pane, where I can decrease this all the way to make it as small as possible. 
to fit as much into this pane. Because the time here I have is so far off that there's a, a huge gap between the first one here and then all the rest. But you see, you can go ahead and make those really small. And if I go ahead and change it, scroll up, maximize that a bit. And if I go back in here, we can see that the spaces between them have increased. Now I also have enabled some information here at the bottom. So it shows the, the now and then this next. So you can see which tasks are current and which tasks are coming up. So this plugin gives you a bit more functionality on how you can manage your tasks and activities uh, within Obsidian. It does lay them out really nicely. You get a good view here. And you can also set up notifications so you'll get the little notification when you have a task um, that you need to do. And you can do the preview here and see, again, this timeline throughout your day of when your tasks are going to, going to happen in se sequence and then the current time in reference to these tasks in the timeline. So I've shown three different ways of how you can use Obsidian to manage your tasks throughout the day. You know, the first one was a just having a simple dedicated task file where you put all of your tasks. Maybe you put it in the right hand pane here so you can always view which tasks are there. Um, then, you know, you can use another method where you use the daily note plugin and you set up a template to have all your tasks in that particular daily note. Um, some of the cons with that there is that you will have a daily note per day. So you will need to transfer any tasks that were not done from one from one daily note to the other, you know, the next daily note. And then you have this, this daily planner view here, which gives you, you know, more graphical views of, of the, your timeline throughout the day and your task. You do have to put in the times that you want to um, co complete your task, but doing it this way does help you really organize your day and, and the activities throughout your day. Well, I hope going through this sparked some ideas on how you can manage your tasks so that you can be a bit more efficient in how you, you work in the Obsidian application without having to switch to other task management type applications. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.